Hi, I'm Dr. Zavala. I'm a pediatric hospitalist at Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids. There are lots of respiratory illnesses out there right now, including COVID. The important thing is to prevent infection. What we're seeing is a lot of children who have had one illness pick up another infection and um, haven't really recovered from the first one. And so they're um, ending up needing hospitalization because they just haven't had enough time to recover from one and now they have another. So prevention of the spread of infection is important. Most kids, um, their symptoms as far as COVID is concerned are being hospitalized for dehydration, um, increased work of breathing, oxygen needs, uh, respiratory distress, um, but the, most, the, the biggest one we're seeing is severe dehydration. Parents should be watching out for the signs of dehydration, uh, meaning um, decreased tears, decreased wet diapers or urinating, not drinking enough. Some of these kids have um, a significant loss of appetite, so it's really hard to get them to eat or drink. Um, fever also causes an increase in what your body needs for hydration. So trying to get the fever under control as much as you can. So watching for uh, signs of dehydration um, would be important. The other aspect would be watching for signs of respiratory distress. So those signs are nasal flaring, um, sucking in between their ribs, what we call retractions, um, breathing really fast, having a hard time catching their breath, um, difficulty uh, with coughing to the point of vomiting. Those would be signs of respiratory distress and looking out for that. Um, lethargy, uh, rashes that are unusual, um, anything that you feel is significantly abnormal for your child. Most of the kids in our community, a majority are not vaccinated. Um, so I think we have a level like in the 20s percent of vaccination of the kids that are eligible. The kids that we have seen that are eligible for vaccination and are requiring hospitalization or pediatric ICU level of care um, that we have to transfer to the university um, are unvaccinated, unfortunately. What we have done here at Mercy um, to prepare our rooms for patients that have COVID and patients who, um, to protect patients who don't have COVID is we have um, changed our rooms um, to allow for proper filtration and change of our airflow systems to protect um, both the patient with um, COVID-19 and the patient without, as well as our staff. Keep in mind, if your child is hospitalized for anything but COVID, we allow um, to, um, uh, caregivers and or parents, so a guardian or parent, two at a time. And if um, your child has to be hospitalized for a COVID-related concern, then only one parent. In addition, I just wanted to make sure that also um, people were aware that um, we are here, we are ready and able to care for your child, and we have an excellent team that provides the, an, an incredible level of care. Like we, um, what I've seen in my time here over the last um, many years is that um, our team cares deeply for what they do. They have a passion for it, it's their calling, and they give your child the level of care that they would want their child to receive. So it's, I feel very confident in our team and our abilities.